Hi guys, so today I'm going to make, it. so today I'm going to teach you guys about chess. It's one of the most famous games in the world. So, um, and also for a fact, I'm going to teach you some facts and how you can be better at chess. So here we go. We have a total of six pieces. The common, the common piece is the pawn. So set up in a line. The second rank in the in this number also known as two. I'll teach you that uh, after some time. And these are called the knights. And some people call it horses, but it's most known as the knight. And they are placed here. Yeah. Then here it comes the bishops. They can move diagonally from place to place. And they always be. Next is um, one of my favorite pieces called the rook. It's not bad, it's not good, but you can still do a lot with it. And it's always placed in the corners. Oh, I must also do this. If you're setting up your uh, board, if you're uh, playing chess, just follow these steps. Okay, now the two most important pieces are coming in. It is the king. And the king is always... Uh, I'll just give you a fact. The white king will always be in the black square. When you're setting up your board. And the black king will always be in the white square. When you're setting up the white board. And the queens will, look, will be in the square. That's it. Now, now let's see how to play in the game. So the first rule is always control the center. And if you move a pawn here and if you've seen some videos, you'll be like, pawns can't do that. They can only go one step. Yes, but when it's in the starting position, then it can move two steps. For, from that, it's one. So if you move here, you control this, this, and this square because uh, pawns can't come here only if they are from the side. So you control these two squares and this is from the center. Let's say he plays the same. So you control this, this. And if you want to just, if you, all of us want to just play nice, Everyone will just go for the knight to f3. What? You don't know the notations? I'll teach you. So, every time in a game, there's these things called ranks, which are uh, like, which are straight lines going from the top or bottom to top. Like this. These are called ranks. And and the things which and the lines which go from one side to another is called a file. Well, I know you know it. I was just kidding. While you go up here, this is called a file. And if you go from here to here. This is called a rank. Yes, and you guys are smart. You try to correct me. But of course, I was just trying to see if you knew it. Okay, well, now that's good. So I must uh, introduce you to the pieces. Nice. They can grow, they can go in an L shape. Pattern just like this. Like this. Once they're in one area, they can control a lot of places. Like this. One knight can control how much? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares at the same time. Wow! That's 
did it. So now you know it, you can move it here, here. And if you're trying to move it here, you can. But in a real game like this, you cannot. So only move it here and you can go, see, it's one. You can go here, 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 up to this, or go here. Yeah. So now you know this, right? Well, now let's go to the bishops. And the bishops can go diagonal, which are also important. Once, you, uh, once your bishops control the diagonal, it's impossible for the king to go. If there is, it's impossible for the king to move to those squares which are controlled by these bishops. But if there's something in between, like we'll say this, then the king can move freely to here, from here, to here, and here, here, here. But if there was no, if, but if there was no pawn here, it can't go here. So now we know why pawns are also important too. Now we have the rook. They are placed in each corner like this, and they and the uh, only thing they can do is capture straight and cross, not diagonal like the bishops. But if they can, they will be way power. Am I right? So, and the value of these points, I will tell you in a little bit. So now you have the rooks, right? You can capture this, you'll be gone, and this can capture this. And this controls the entire rank and file. At the same time, the rook and the white rook does it too. So now you know this. So you know the rook. But do you know the queen? Well, everyone must know the queen. So the queen can go diagonal like the bishop and straight and cross from one point to another like a rook. Its, uh, it's value will surprise you. It's also one of the most important pieces and no one would want to lose. So uh, it's good to keep it safe. Now we have the most important king uh, piece, the king. And there can only be one king at, uh, in one game. You can go one step, but with a special rule. If there is a rook here, and, and if you move the queen, king here, this will get automatically to the side. Don't believe me? Oh, I'll show you. I'll put it here, and I'll go here. Now it will be a white stand. Yeah, it won't work because you already moved the king once and twice. So let's do it again. So we can't because the king has already been moved. And if the king's moved, we can't castle. And castling is the one of the most important things in chess. So I'm going to just play a game and explain you guys. So here is a game which uh, I'm playing with myself to explain you guys. So, let's say we are from the starting. We play e5, which is, we control the center. And he would play e4, e5, which we, he would also control the center. This is, in, this is in the fourth rank, and this is in the fifth rank. And this is in the fifth rank. And it controls these two centers, as this. Then we, we would move our knight to f3. This is in the third rank. And it con and controls this, this, this square, and this. So much squares for one knight, huh? Well, that uh, that's it for today's video. And 
I hope you understood till now. So in the next video, I hope I promise it will be more interesting. Thank you guys.